Hey there, Dick Lippertoy here in Las Vegas. I've been here 20 years from uh, Portland, Oregon, Cleveland, San Diego, LA, Nashville. And I, I'm in. Can't the, keep a job. Can't, can't keep a job, I'm telling you right now. And uh, at my table is uh, Carl. Carl. Bob. Art. 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 <laughs> Dick doesn't know what he's doing, he's been drinking heavily. And behind the camera is Ray Glasser. Hi, Ray. Nice to see you again. Ray was an old uh, listener of mine. I mean, he is old, he is and old. he is a listener. He's an old listener. <laughs> and um, we're here at the uh, 19, or oh, the 2011. Um, see, well, I, mo I moved here in 2000, in uh, 1990. I'm sorry, I've been here 20 years. And this is uh, the first day of the big CES show here in Las Vegas for 2011. And we have Joey Reynolds with us, who is a radio icon from many, many years ago. And uh, we also have the fellow that uh, is responsible for for uh, this uh, big event here. His name is uh, Jack. Hi, Jack. Don't nice. say hi, Jack, at the no, airport. Oh, don't say that at the airport. <laughs> right. <laughs> and these are all of his grandchildren. 130,000 grandchildren are here today uh, honoring uh, Jack and uh, everybody here at uh, CES. Had some great times in Cleveland, Ohio. Worked at Wixie, WHK, WERE. And uh, WUAB TV. Remember my TV show I had on Channel 43? It was called Good Times Rock and Roll, and it was like the American Bandstand uh, of Cleveland. And Dick Clark was a guest on my show back in the 1968. Do you remember that when he was on my show? And I uh, had a good time, and I still have the videotapes. So, anyway, thanks a lot for being with us, and we'll talk to you later. Bye. <laughs> what are you doing? Turn it off! Jack, are you having a good time? So far, I'm having a good time on day one, day one of the show. You sometimes look around and say, Egads, where did I start? What has that person wrought, right? <laughs> <laughs> well, you know, this show, mission to be an annual meeting place for the people and the products of their industry. That was our motto. And we are supposed to um, mirror the industry, what it's doing, but also, I like to say, like Panasonic said, slightly ahead of our time, we like to keep one step ahead of the industry, the show. Excuse me. I, ke I keep getting tapped on by this right. annoying person. Excuse me. Right. Uh, Jack, this is your Lifetime Achievement Award. Oh, thank you. It's uh, a ham sandwich. It's a, it's a box lunch <laughs> from last year. From last year, right. It's, we've been it's saving green. it for you. Oh, it's green. You're, you're eco no, no, I think Actually, this, it's, it's payola. I, Give it to... Uh, I think the meat is green by now, Jack. That's what I mean. It's, <laughs> we're eco-friendly. It's not All the right. only the meat food that's is green. green. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Thank you, Ray, for uh, getting a little behind the scenes at CES. Well, give Joey on, the mic. There's gonna, not enough tape if I give Joey the mic. We're going to have our YouTubes tied. Yeah, right. <laughs> you take the mic. You, you well, like I'm going to take the mic. What do you want me to do? I, I, I got to work enough today. This is this is work. It's not fun anymore. It used to be fun when there were... Uh, Especially when it's pro bono. That's right. <laughs> when there's money in... <laughs> no, you know, uh, Jack Wayman here created the Consumer Electronics Show years ago. And, and that was the time when they had the little records with the big holes and the big records with the little holes, right? 45 and the 78 and the 33 and the third. Weren't you and friends? Four, and four track tape, <laughs> but Weren't way you? before eight track. <laughs> Were you not friends with Madman Munts, Earl Munts? I was a great friend of Earl's and uh, he wanted to give away television, but his, his wife would not let him give it away. Yeah. That was his slogan. And you've been friends with everybody, David Sarnoff, RCA, right? Well, I was privileged to be in the era of the retail and uh, with RCA for 10 years, to be with the real entrepreneurs, the Bob Galvins of Motorola, the Ross Saragusa of Admiral, uh, the Frymans that started Magnavox, the Ben Abrams that started Emerson. They were all entrepreneurs. And then they retired, and then they got taken over by corporate entrepreneurs, that is, their top salesmen became entrepreneurial, the second generation. And I think now today you have uh, corporate managers. They're not really not entrepreneurial anymore because the companies are all in a groove. And and uh, But there's a lot of entrepreneurs out there now with the new digital age. 
Oh yeah, we got we got uh, the the president of Google, the brand new pad they have, the Google Gook. And they can be. We have a lot of ten by ten booths, guys that started like Bob Galvin with Motorola in his garage. They call it the garage crowd, and um, they're out there and they're presidents, but they're only presidents of a company doing maybe ten thousand dollars with a ten by ten foot booth. <laughs> but that's the way all the big companies started. Didn't and you many go, you, of them from the show. Did you not go to school with Tom Edison? Well, I worked in the lab he, with, <laughs> with young Tom, they called him, young Tom. <laughs> so Jack Wayman, Emeritus, Chairman, Consumer Electronics Association, right? Yes, that's true. And, um, and after I'm all the... to be with him now some uh, 45 years since I started with him. I still uh, take a lick and keep on kicking because I, I'm doing the media now. I still, still did it for the last 15 years. And... Um, Hopefully writing a book on the history of consumer electronics. The story has really never been told yet. Well, it's really a pleasure to have lunch with you, Jack. And uh, great to have you, and it's free, too, by the way. <laughs> That's what I was waiting for. The operative word here is free. Otherwise, you wouldn't see Art Bolo here. That's right. <laughs> Who has...